So the first step is to go to this URL, grasp.eu, and to make yourself an account, sign up. Notice that right from the start, you have this smiley face in the bottom right of your screen. This is a help face. So whatever question you have, you can write a message and you'll have an answer usually within the day. So once you've signed up, you can log in and access to your GRASP account, which is the teacher view where students cannot have access and where you will edit your activities. So my advice here is since it can be pretty crowded when many people want to collaborate with you, create yourself a folder this is called a space in GRASP and we'll call this space my courses. So you will put your stuff there. So let's open it and now let's create your first course or activity. So we'll press the add button and we'll create an activity. So we'll name it my first online course. And when you press here on the right, you see that you have a whole lot of templates you can choose from. However, this will change nothing on what content you will be able to include in your activities. It will only pre-name the different phases of your course or activity. So let's pick one, let's choose the MOOC. Let's click on it and you will see that it has pre-named for you the different phases of your course as weeks. This is something you can easily change. You can press first week and you can change the title here. Let's call it French. We'll make a French lesson and press this sign to accept. By the way, this is your navigation bar in GRASP. So you can go to the upper level of your course and enter another phase. When you work, I advise you to simultaneously display the page view here, which is the student view what students will see when they will enter your course. Of course, for now, this is empty, but whenever we'll add content, we'll just make refresh here. By the way, you can easily modify this introduction sentence on the top. So this is something you can just erase or replace by whatever you want. Now let's start adding content. So let's assume you're a French teacher and you want to add a file in this phase. So we'll just add file. And since I'm a fan of philosophy about infinity, we'll just add an extract from Blaise Pascal, Les Pensées. And we go to the student view, we make a refresh, and we should see your document here. So students can scroll your document. They can also directly download it or even print it. So this is very handy and it works for any type of file being a PDF, a doc file, an Excel file or an image.